Nationals hosting the Cubs, and the Cubs are minus 162 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 136. The over-under, eight runs. The Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 104, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Amanga did not pitch against the Nationals this year. Irvin pitched once against the Cubs last year. Four and a third, one run, one earn. They won that game two to one, and he struck out three batters in that game. For the weather for tomorrow, because, you know, you know, weather has always been interesting with these games. It is supposed to be 77 degrees, eight mile an hour winds, and a 28% chance of rain. Head to head, they are five and five against each other. The Cubs are on a two game winning streak. The home team is on a two game winning streak. The home team is six and four. The favorite has won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been four one run games in their last 10. The over is hitting their last three. The over under is five and five, and the over under at eight, also five and five. And this is their first meeting between each other this season. For whatever the reason is, the Cubs have not confirmed a manga yet. So in his last 10 starts, he's averaging five and a third innings pitched, 5.6 strikeouts, 16.6 outs, record, uh, outs recorded, 4.7 hits, 0.8 walks, 2.3 runs, 1.9 of which were earned, 1.2 home runs. He's given up home runs in two, four, six, seven consecutive starts, and he gave up two in his last start. 82.3 pitches per game and 13.6 pitches per inning. I didn't realize he was giving up home runs like that. For the Nationals, in Irvin's last 10 starts, five and two thirds innings pitched, 4.4 strikeouts, 17.5 outs recorded, 6.2 hits, 1.5 runs, 3.4 runs, 1.5 walks, 3.4 runs, 3.3 of which were earned, 1.5 home runs. He's given up a home run in four consecutive starts. 96.2 pitches per game, 16.9 pitches per inning. The Cubs are 3-1 and one in their last four, 6-1 and one in their last seven. Nine runs, 16 runs, uh, nine runs, 26 runs, 14 runs, and then 24 runs. Two runs and a loss, 18 runs and a win, nine runs and a win, and then 14 runs and a come-from-behind win. They were down in that game 10-3 and came back and won 14-10. For the Nationals, three and one in their last four. Six runs, seven runs, six runs, seven runs. Five runs and a win. Two runs and a loss. Four runs and a win. Five runs in a win. This is going to be a interesting kind of catch-22 game, but I do think the Cubs prevail in this one. I'm going to take the Cubs with the money line. I will take the Cubs laying the runs, and being that both pitchers have been given up home runs, I'll lean over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.